Hello learners, I am teacher Jonathan and welcome to Easy Elimo Learning Simplified. And today we'll be converting money or converting units of money. Conversion of the units of money. And to start us is how can you save money? How can you save money? Now, in our previous class, we learned more on money on different currency that on different currency on different denomination whether in coins or not and we said money in our country is found in kenya shillings so our currency currency here in kenya is kenyan shilling this is how it is abbreviated kenyan shilling is a small letter kenyan shilling and our money can either be in notes or coins. You can find it in either notes or coins. And the last one, we have denominations, different denominations of our money. Denominations. Those are the three main keys, things that we learned when we were in our previous class that the currency of money in Kenya is Kenyan shilling. This is how it's written in short. So we can write it as Kenyan shilling. Kenyan shilling. And these Kenyan shillings can either be found in notes or coins. And we have different denominations in our currency. Now, in our pairs, kindly can you help me identify these currencies that we have? We have, we start with Wangari, we have a 20 shilling coin, that is our denomination. We also have others, who can remind us? Yes, Tom, we have a 50 shilling, not, yes. And you, Victoria, we also have one shilling coin. That is also correct. What about you, Victor? We have also a 10 shilling coin. So these are just examples of the denominations that we have in Kenya. Now, with me here, I've come with just a couple of samples of money. We have real money of 20 shilling coin. So this is a coin of 20 shilling. This is a coin of 20 shilling. We have said one denomination, our money can either be in coins or in notes. So we have a coin of 20 shilling because that is a denomination. We have said we have this one. We also have a five shilling coin. We have it either this small one or the big one. We also have a 10 shilling coin. That is also another denomination of a 10 shilling coin. We also have one shilling coin. Also Kenyan money can be found in that denomination of one shilling coin. We have many of them. Another denomination is 50 shilling not. 50 shilling not. This is how it looks like. 50 shilling not. We also have a denomination of 100 shilling not. 100 shilling not. This is also another 100 shilling not. We have 200 shilling knots. We have 500 shilling knots and 1,000 shilling knots. So our Kenyan money goes up to 1,000 shilling knots. That is the highest denomination that we have. And the lowest is one shilling. Now, knowing this and having this in mind, now how do we convert these units of money? And to start, in our groups now, I would like you to understand this one shilling, one shilling, one shilling is equivalent to a hundred cents. One shilling is equivalent to a hundred cents. This is very key. This small shilling or the least in our denomination, it's, this is the smallest in our Kenyan currency now, the one shilling is equivalent to a hundred cents. 
So when you are given 100 cents and one shilling, you have been given the same thing. Now, my question comes to you learners in our groups. Now, if I'm given two shillings, how many cents do I have? If I'm given two shillings, how many cents will I have? <laughs> yes, to you Tom, how many shillings do I have? It means now I take two shillings multiplied by 100 cents. And my answer will be 200. So I'll multiply two and two multiply by 100 cents to get 200 cents. To get 200 cents. To you, Jen, three shillings. I want to convert them to cents. How many cents will I have? How many cents will I have? It means now I'll do what? Three. I multiply by 100 cents to get 300 cents. It's 3 multiplied by 100 cents to get 300 cents. Learners, this is how we change or we convert shillings to cents or cents to shillings. You can also do the vice versa. It's also applicable. Now, learners, I would like you also to understand this. A shilling, a shilling, one of it, it is equivalent to 100 cents. Now, help me answer the following question, John. Help me answer the following question, John. Help me answer this. 500 cents are equivalent to how many shillings? 500 cents are equivalent to how many shillings? Let me write this side. Five. 100 cents are equivalent to how many shillings? So I want shillings on this side. How many shillings are equivalent to one cent? How many shillings are equivalent to one cent? Remember, remember, we this is our, our main vocal point that one shilling is equivalent to 100 cents. So we can convert it to the vice versa so it means now if one shilling one shilling is equivalent to 100 cents so can i convert this one it means now i cross multiply it will be 500 cents multiplied by one shilling and then i divide by 100 cents are we together learners? Kindly. Remember we are working in group. So cents cancel cents. Zero and zero, zero and zero. So we are remaining with five. Five multiplied by one shilling to get five shillings. Five shillings. So 500 cents are equivalent to five shillings. Remember you can also do repeated subtraction. 500 because 100 cents is one shilling 500 take away 100 cents to get four take away another 100 cents then at the end how many times have you subtracted 100 cents and you get they are five times learners are we together now can we convert this other one how many shillings are found in 420 cents how many shillings are found here? We do the same. We do the same. This comes to you, Wangari. What is the answer for this one? To you, Tom, what is the answer? Can you convert this one? 420 cents to shillings. How do we convert it? Now, we do the same way we have done this. We do the same way we have done this. We are, our main, we are dividing it with 100. Oh, we are taking away 100 cents every time, every time. So we divide this one by 100. And once you divide by 100, or you take away 100, it means it's 400, 420. Take away 100 to get 320. Again, the 320 take away 100 to get 220. Again, the 220 take away 100 to get 120 
we can still continue subtracting 120 take away 100 to get 20 20 is less how many times have we subtracted 100 these are the times we have the one two three four so we have four times so these are four shilling we start with the shilling on this side and how many cents remaining and 20 cents four shillings and 20 cents that is how we write it four shilling and 20 cents learners i request you to tackle the following can you try to convert the following let me rub from this side let us try to convert the following let us convert the following convert to cents what are we converting convert this is our task this is our task this is our task number one convert to cents to cents we are converting to cents a four shillings b we are also converting 10 shillings we start with shilling 10 c we are also converting nine shilling d we are also converting 15 shilling yes 15 shilling and number two convert two shillings convert to shilling a you are converting 400 cents b we are converting also 650 cents c we are converting also 926 cents and the last one we are converting 330 cents learners the same way we have done the first the first three examples you are doing the same here take note of 100 cents are equivalent to one shilling as you tackle your conversion this marks the end of our lesson but remember to do more practice using the money at home you can ask your parents to help you convert different amount of shillings and cents to either cents or to shillings let us meet in the next lesson bye bye